Well, now we're gonna make the seat of the office chair. Let's get into it. So to start our seat, I'll get on the XY plane here and start a sketch. And we'll make a basic seat sketch. And what I'll do is create a horizontal line. We'll make an arc here, horizontal and vertical. And of course, we'll make sure that we enforce that being horizontal. We'll give this a tangent so that it's all smooth. We'll enforce something that's vertical. Now I can grab a fillet and we can go from here to here as 0.4 radius. And same thing from here to here, 0.4, very good. And then we can start assigning dimensions to our seat. First, I want the midpoint of this line to be aligned with the origin. Or I could also, in the same way, say I want this point and this point to be symmetric with across this central axis. So I can use the symmetry constraint, or I can use the midline con or the midpoint constraint, just like that, where I tell Libre that I want the midpoint of this line to always lay on the origin. Now I can give a distance of uh, 20 from end to end, just like that. What height do we want our cushion? I'm going to say 1.25. Now with this completed sketch, I'll deactivate it. We'll go into our XY plane and create another plane that's offset a distance of 10.875. We'll close that. And then I'd like to make another sketch on the plane that I've just created. and will be rather similar. Make us a, a rather similar sketch, just like I've made before. And we'll put a line there. And a line there, we'll make sure our line is vertical. And then We'll add a sketch fillet. This time I'll give this a radius of 0.5. And this time I'll go with a coincident onto the origin because I'll have it be not symmetric. I'll grab this point and the origin and we'll say 8.4. Grab the origin and this point, and we'll say 8.75. What height do we want it? I'm going to increase the height to 2, and we're fully defined there. So those will be the sketches for our seat, but let's also create a sketch on this top plane here. And I'm going to project this line and this line as reference figures with maintained association. I can click Reset View to look straight down again. I'm going to make an arc from here to there. We'll go with horizontal from this point to this point, and then make another arc from here to there. And we'll go, we'll go with a horizontal. We'll go with a horizontal from this point to this point. Deactivate the sketch. We're going to make a loft now from this sketch to this one. I'll make a global from here to here. And that is the beginning of our cushion. Let's also create a mirror from here across this plane, just like that. So that will be the full cushion that we'll be sitting on. Now perhaps I'd like to add some holes on the bottom. So I can select my top plane, we'll choose hole. And of course now it knows that my start surface for my holes is the ZX plane. The arrow appears to be going in the right direction. So I'm going to go with a simple hole on this one. And let's say that we want threads that are going to go 0.5 in size. We're going to say ANSI fine. 
Under type, we'll go 1 half by 20. And for hole depth, I'll go a depth of 1.25. Now I also have a sketch that I need to make. So we'll add four holes, reset the view, and I can use a, a symmetric constraint where I select my axis there and there. I can select my other axis here and here. And I can choose horizontal and vertical. And now all my holes, now all my holes should have a certain symmetry about our center. So all I really need to do now is dimension them. I can give 11 here by 10 here. Now we should be fully constrained. So we'll say OK. One thing to look out for is it looks like we may not actually be going into our seat because we need to reverse the direction. So we'll click reverse right here. And OK. All right, so now we're going into the seat, no problem. Next thing, I'll want to make another set of holes for our arms. So I'll select this face and select hole. I can make some other simple holes. We can go in a depth of, say, 5 this time. Let's go 1 fourth by 28. Then I'll select here and here. And once again, I can choose a symmetric constraint. So we'll choose this from here to here as symmetry. And I can adjust the sketch to be, say, off of this bottom point, a distance of 1 from here, off center, 2.5. Actually, I want them uh, 6.5 apart, so let's say 6.5 divided by 2. That should be the correct distance there. Looks like we're fully constrained, so we're going to say OK. And then simply mirror the holes across our center plane. And there we have holes on each side for our arms to attach. And then we'll add a fillet on each side to make it even more cushiony. We'll come down to point 4, let's say, apply. And that should be our seat cushion. And that's how we make the seat of the office chair. Let's tune into the next video where we'll make even more.